we were rehearsing in the rehearsal space and the keyboard player had his horn patch and he was playing drums and I came into practice and I heard them playing this, this just the da na na da na 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 and they were just doing that over and over again and I just picked up my bass and I just started playing a bass part that fit with that and that was it it was really fast in that really time, fast in really that time fast. of rehearsal we were in LA mm. rehearsing yeah yeah, yeah. and um, myself and Jim the guitar player mm. at the time were in a, in this apartment and um, we didn't have a phone we couldn't afford to turn the phone on and Jim is a very, very unique and particular person um, to where he would stay up until about six or seven in the morning, every <laughs> night, no matter what, right? Yeah. And sleep definitely. till at least three in the afternoon. So what we, what I would do with Jim is I would go into rehearsal, what, seven or eight at night, and I would play with Jim. <sighs> and what I ended up playing with Jim was, um, it's that song, the song Surprise You're Dead from Real Thing, and um, a big piece of the song Zombie Eaters that he was working on. He had a couple of things, and I worked on a couple of things with Jim. And I don't remember how it happened, but... And, and they weren't coming to practice. So, well, where are they? Oh, they'll be here, whatever, they'll come. They, wouldn't, they weren't coming to practice. It turns out that you were rehearsing in the day with Roddy. Mm. Like a regular routine as they were rehearsing the day. And somehow I switched That's and I true. flipped. You remember that? Yeah, that was kind of <laughs> bizarre. And I flipped I onto them other. somehow. Did, I don't know if I saw you somewhere or called you somewhere or, or, or what. Or maybe I came in early one day to like mess with my drums and they were there. Yeah. There's the other half of the band over there. They're playing. It's in the same room. And then I started rehearsing with him. And, and, and I distinctly remember that is exactly like he said, that's where Epic came about. Ah. And we were just playing grooves. And it had this groove. And then later, like, uh, like piano stuff was like, um, I mean, the funny thing is we play grooves over and over. And then we recorded on tape and I'd be driving my car and I would listen to that groove over car? and over and over yeah. and over and mm. over and over. I mean, in my car, that'd be the only thing would be that one groove playing. And I remember it, driving you start to the hearing beach. things. I remember start... driving to the beach when we had just put Epic on a cassette. And listening to it, yeah, I remember exactly. Mm. I have that it. tape somewhere in my and house. Like, wow, this is some super <sighs> powerful part. That was the first part, super powerful part. And oh. one thing about That's how it was. if you hear repetition a lot, mm. your mind it's like starts creating things that aren't there. And um, it's like if you stare at a white picture, a canvas, you start seeing pictures even though they don't Within exist. It, yeah. And I would just listen to this over and over, and I started hearing the piano part uh, because I just kept hearing this thing over and over again that was that had nothing on it. Yeah. And uh, we just kind of plugged it in because I was already hearing it in my head, and there it was. 